What is going on everyone, it's Nero again, and welcome back for the first episode of the Pokemon Soul Silver playthrough. Now, this is kind of tricky, this is going to be tricky throughout the entire playthrough. Notice you're looking at a black screen right now. Uh, Pokemon Soul Silver is a Nintendo DS game, which means I'm having to use a Nintendo DS emulator, which means there are two screens, and obviously there's only one screen here on YouTube. So, you guys aren't going to be able to see the bottom screen. Um, that might confuse some people, but... You know, it's going to be okay. I think it will, all you'll really miss is like me switching around Pokemon or me typing in names and stuff like that. So I think we'll be good. Let's go. No info needed. Skip right past this because uh, this stuff's this is honestly pretty basic stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, well, excuse me. Sorry. I was just reading this book here. <laughs> Welcome back, Oak. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. I don't remember Oak being in this game. Is this confusing anyone else? It's confusing me. Um, before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. Alright, what should I know? This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Awesome. <laughs> and a, a, a Meryl of all types. Yeah, Meryl. Woo. <laughs> We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle, this text is going ridiculously slow, to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Okay. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Is it, Do I look that feminine that you can't tell if I'm a boy or a girl? Won't you please tell me? I am a boy. Thank you. Jerk. I feel violated right now by Professor Oak. So you're a boy then? Yes. <laughs> Please, tell me your name. Alright. Let's go N. Let's go E. See, this is the part you can't really see. You can't see me typing in my name. Little things like that, but I still think the playthrough is going to turn out well. My name is Nero here. Oh, hello. Your name is Nero? Yes. Yes, damn it. Alright, <laughs> Nero, are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult e experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. This is... <laughs> oh, I'm shrinking! I'm in my tiny little room. Now let's see. Let's see how I do this. I don't remember how to do this. Do I have to actually press A? Nope, oh, apparently I don't have anything unlocked yet, so I can't do anything. Alright, so, first and foremost, are you wondering why Soul Silver? Hey, I can get in my bed. Soul Silver is because, uh, like you, those of you who are already familiar with my channel, you guys know I am a, I'm a huge fan of Generation One. I played it all the time. But when Generation Two came out, I also played it, and this is actually a Generation Four game with Generation Two Pokemon, uh, just updated graphics and cool stuff like that. Message from Lyra. Where's my potion? Read. Adventure. Excited. I love Pokemon. Meryl. The hell? Where's my, where's my potion? Jerks. What's this? It's a Wii. Oh man, there's Wiis in this game. Wii is huge in Johto too. Oh man, if that's not product placement if I've ever seen it. Let's head on downstairs. Hi mom! Oh, damn. Making it so I can't move in junk? Hi Nero, you're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, and I almost forgot, our acquaintance Professor Elm was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. Thank you for giving me a bag. I have, I had no items. <laughs> here's your trainer card. Sweet, so I can check how much money I have. Yeah. Oh, and here's save record. Damn, all oh, shit's popping up. <laughs> These are rather helpful. Options, options are helpful. Thank you, so I can make the text speed go faster so I don't say you're listening to you all day. Woo. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna go click, nope, click my options. First, we're going to make text speed fast, bouncing on, battle style, shift, I don't know what that means, sound, stereo, uh, button mode, normal, frame. Ah, I'll check to change my frame here. What do you guys think? You got pink, you got blue, you got green. Ooh, I kind of like the green. Uh, you got the orange. Ooh, purple. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, yuck. Yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah. So many fancy designs. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm going to go with the pretty green. Confirm. Yeah. All right. So I should be good to go, right? All right, I'm good to go. Don't need to have my mouse up there. New Bark Town. It's windy. Ooh, ooh, man. The graphics in this game are good. Well, compared to you know, Pokemon Red, which I'm used to. Get out of my way, Meryl, you jerk. Woman, contain your Pokemon here. What is this? Yeah, take her away. <laughs> it's so cute. Jumping up and down, all happy and excited. 
What's the sign say? Newbark Town, winds of a new beginning. Oh, oh this is that annoying guy that pushes me, right? He's gonna push me. Watch, guarantee he's gonna push me. So this is the famous elk Pokemon lab. Where are you gear where are you staring at? Yes, I knew it! That's what he did in Pokemon Silver. That's why and the reason I picked Soul Silver over Heart Gold, because I think Lugia is cooler than Ho. -Oh. That's my only reasoning. Bum, 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 bum. Hi, Nero, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? No, I do not. I'm assuming you're a professor, though. As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days, but before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lara does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve, so I'm glad. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this is, brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Ah! What? What's happening? Are we all dying? Oh! Oh! Hey! I got an email! Oh! Um! Eh! Okay! Hey, listen, I have an acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still busy for our Pokemon research. I remember this part. I have to go get an egg from him. Wait, I know you go to the place. Yes, I can count. Yes, you can count on me. Let me take your Pokemon now. Woo! Bam, bam. <gasps> Touch the ball. <gasps> Touch the ball. Totodile. The water Pokemon is in this Pokeball. Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon, is in this Pokeball. Chikorita, the grass Pokemon, is in this ball. Oh, who do I choose? Who do I choose? You know who I'm going to choose? No, let's, let, let, let's think here. I've done two Let's Plays so far. One of Pokemon Fire Red, one of Pokemon Ruby. Pokemon Fire Red, I took the grass type Bulbasaur. Pokemon Ruby, I took the water type um, Mudkip. So for this playthrough, we're taking the fire type. We're going to take uh, Cyndaquil. And that, and Cyndaquil is awesome. He's a fire mouse who doesn't want a Cyndaquil. You'll take Cyndaquil, the fairy type Pokemon? Yes, I will. If it's a girl, I'm going to restart. Just throwing it out there. It, bo it bothers me when my Pokemon are girls. I don't know why. Do you have a nickname the Cyndaquil you received? No. I also do not nickname my Pokemon. I'm, I'm also weird that way. If was, you aren't already familiar with me in the way I play the Pokemon, then yeah, that's that's me. I don't nickname them, and then I get pissed off with their girls. I don't know why. It just bothers me. And actually, I've had a couple comments from other people who say the same thing. It bothers them when your Pokemon's a girl, and same thing for me. So unless the Pokemon's supposed to be a girl, it, it, it's just weird. All right. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? Not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. All right. Am I? Wow. I just. I'm sitting reading all this stuff, and I didn't even really give a notice to the fact that <laughs> Cyndaquil is behind me. I knew that they were in this game, this is actually pretty cool. And having Cyndaquil follow me almost makes me not want to evolve him, but, you know. Uh, Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is just past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Nero. Damn, Cyndaquil, look at him. He's all raring to go and all on fire and junk. Look at him, he's raring to go. Hello. <gasps> he likes me! Cyndaquil is looking this way and smiling. Alright. Well, we're going to have to find something out real quick. Is Cyndaquil... Cyndaquil is a boy! You guys can't see it. Oh, maybe you can't... Nope, you can't see it even if I click... What if I click summary? Aha! Now you guys can see it. Cyndaquil is a boy. And he likes to fight. He's got a modest nature. Awesome. This is kind of confusing because I'm having to use a mouse and a keyboard for this. Like, uh, the, the, this emulator is a little bit different. Alright. Let's go Cyndaquil... Oh! Jeez, can you just let me join and start my Pokemon adventure? Nero, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Potions. <laughs> Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use potion if you think yours is in danger. Will do, sir! I want to show my mom my flaming mouse. Ah, Meryl! <laughs> Look at it, the thing's all freaking out. Nero, so you picked a Cyndaquil. That's a cute Pokemon you have. When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should sometimes turn around and talk to it, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show me? Show it to your mom. That's what I was going to do before you stopped me. Jerk. Yeah, you take your bouncing bubble fish thing away. I think this is our house. Mommy, I have a flaming mouse. Check it out. Can we keep it? Oh, Nero, that's a cute Pokemon. <laughs> no mother would think a mouse with flames on its back would be cute. <sighs> unrealistic. Pokemon's unrealistic. <laughs> think about what I just said. Professor Elm must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? Oh, I see. That sounds a little difficult. But, uh, 
Yeah, someone makes a request like that, it's important. You know, go ahead, your Pokemon gear came from the repair shop. Sweet Pokemon gear! Bim, 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 bim. Pokemon gear, or Poke gear, as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use that Poke gear to make a phone call too. Do you remember how? Yes. Leave me alone. Just, I'll probably tell you regardless. Just power on the Poke gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one and give him or her a call. Wow, I can't believe it's that easy to make a phone call. Jeez, mom, they're called cell phones. <sighs> All right, Shinnequil. Is there anything else we should check out here? This guy, I bet this guy won't push me if I have a flaming mouse behind me. But come at, come at me, bro. You should defeat his own Pokemon lab. Where are you staring at? Ow, jerk! Send the quill. Use flamethrower. Kick his ass. Why does Cyndaquil though obey me? Whoa, 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 wait one second. What the hell? Why would those people let me leave? I asked my adventure forth. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. I almost completely forgot about that house that's right there below me. I kind of wanted to look at it first before we head out into our first Pokemon battle. Yes, I have your number now, so I can call you and give you a hoot and a holler. Whenever I want, right? Whenever I want. But also, I check what can, what is in Z's houses. Probably something, you know, maybe necessary. You never know. Hello, chick. Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. This fact was first discovered by Professor Elm. It was I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. Oh yeah, uh, what's it? Pichu. Yeah. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. I wish I could be a researcher like him. Quit your wine. Maybe if you weren't living in a house that has a kitchen and the living room attached to each other with no bedroom, you'd be all right. Hey, big boy. Yo, Nero. I heard Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Um, yeah, one's following me. Jerk. I'm assuming this is that one girl's house. Hello, balding man. She's playing games with her Pokemon as usual. Is she upstairs? Giggity giggity. Giggity 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 giggity. Hey, she is. Hi, Meryl. Fine, jerk. My Meryl is super cute, but your Cyndaquil looks pretty good too, Nero. I want to talk to you. Aww. Alright. Let's deuce out of here. Let's make our way towards Cherry Grove. Bum 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 bum. Route 20. I just started. I'm on route. I just started. I'm on route 29. <laughs> Don't they usually go, yo, know, route one first? All right, whatever. All right then. I'm not finding any Pokemans. I'm just walking right through the grass without finding a single Pokemon. Hey, youngster. I'm assuming you're youngster because your hat's all sideways. Hey, how are your Pokemon? If they're weak, not ready for battle, keep out of tall grass. Well. So far, I haven't seen anything in the tall grass. They're afraid of my flaming mouse. Wait a minute. Ah! I remember up here somewhere is a Pokeball. Ah! Rattas are in this game! Sweet! Send the quail! Let's kick his ass! We're gonna go tackle! Bam! Ah! Uh, oh, 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 you're gonna tail whip upon me? Tail whip on me? Tackle him again! By the way, my moves are tackle and mirror. Yeah, those are my awesome moves. You can do it, Cyndaquil, I tell you what. My defense fell. That's a jerk. I so happened to get a level 4 Pokemon, which Rat has are kind of cool. Wow! <gasps> One quick attack took some out! What? 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 That is the world's strongest Rat <laughs> You were scurried back home, protecting its exhausted and fanned Pokemon for further harm. That is the world's strongest Rattata. Welcome home. Sounds like you had quite the experience. Yeah, think this freaking purple rat came out of nowhere and kicked my ass. Maybe you should relax and take a quick break. Oh my lord. Oh good, your Pokemon are looking great. Yes, I've heard fresh around. Yes, 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 I understand the whole hit point concept. <sighs> Alright, Cyndaquil. Let's not try and get our asses kicked this time. We need to make a cherry go before we get in the episode. That's how we're gonna run this. I just try not to get whooped on this time. I can't believe that, that one perfect quick attack. Just bam, down for the count. One, two, three. Bam, 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 bam. That's not a good way to start <laughs> you know, the series off with Cyndaquil. Oh man, that's horrible. There's one lucky quick attack. Bam, done. All right, so I'm pretty positive somewhere up in this area is an item. I think at the end of this, Yes, I'm. You can tell you I play these games as a gig, so I can remember this stuff. What is it? Up, 
another potion. Potions don't do anything if Cinderwall's getting knocked out in one hit. Hopefully I don't run that same ratatata. Probably kick my ass again. What's that place? Looks different. I wanted to take a break, so I saved. Yeah, saving is usually a good thing. I wanna go up here. Bum, 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 bum. Route 46. Is that a trainer? Can I actually battle someone? Will you be my first battle? A dead end? Did I take the wrong path? Oh yeah, this is like the downward path from somewhere else. I think you can actually find Geodudes in here. Oh no! More Ratatatas! Kick his ass! In the quail! Kick his ass! Alright, so two, two more tackles, I'll take it out with Cyndaquil. One more tackle! After this. Oh no! When we got so uh, let's get that critical hit tackle from level 2 right at that just knocks me out and poisons me and confuses me and stuns me and... <laughs> Woo! 16 XP! Wow, 16 XP is actually a lot when you're level 5, isn't it? No! More right at that, probably! Ah! Make him go away! I'm just gonna run away from him because he didn't give me that much XP. If I were to find like a level 3 or something like that, that'd be enough to level me up. But I probably should go first and foremost. Let's go bag. Ah, cool! Potions! Potion! Use! Cyndaquil! Alright. Awkward! Man, this whole new system, this DS emulator stuff is just goofy. Let's head on down. Make our way back to where we head into Cherry Grove. That's where we end up. Hopefully. Uh oh. Please don't be. <gasps> Hoot Hoot! <laughs> I like Hoot Hoots. They're cool. But we're gonna kick its ass. We have no Pokeballs. Oh no, you can't miss your tackle! Come on now. I mean, maybe it flew away from him. You guys don't know. Quit making fun of Cyndaquil. Tackle! Damn, that really do a whole lot, did it? Use Leer. Let's lower. Let's lower down ye old defenses. That'll be our super awesome strategy. Ow, jerk! Leer. Now he's gonna come out with like tackle and he's gonna destroy me, <laughs> or some horrible like that. Let's try actually try tackle. We're basically just facing. I'm using leers, using growls. It's basically just counteracting each other, just wasting time. So, by the way, uh, this new emulator. It's for Nintendo DS. It's called Desmumi. 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 I don't know. Well, either way, it doesn't have like a super speed thing like uh, Pokemon Fire Red did and uh, Pokemon Ruby did. There's no like super speed, just like you know, speed on past battles and training and stuff. You have to go slow like this. Ooh, ooh almost all the way up, Cyndaquil. So there's no fast forwarding through battles. Bum, 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 bum. Hello, sir. I would like to make my your acquaintance. Hi, hi. I'm waiting. Or I'm waiting for Pokemon that appear only in the morning. Ah, oh, cool. So this is nighttime. So only Pokemon can appear in the morning. That'd be cute. Since there's nothing to put in, there's no reason to take it. Okay. I would like to say hello to this fine young woman down here. Hey, baby. You see those ledges, you're just scared to jump off them, but you can go to New Bark Town without walking through tall grass. I don't want to do that. I want to get to Cherry Grove. By jumping over this. <laughs> they have a skylight. Ah, old man! Pedophile alert! Ah! You're a rookie trainer, right? I can tell that's okay. Everyone's a rookie at some point. If you like, I teach, I teach you a few things. Okay, full. Yes, I'll just follow this random old man. Awesome. This game teaches you so much about life. Oh, I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible. Try keeping up. It is physically impossible to run in this universe without these shoes. <laughs> this is a Pokemon Center to heal all your Pokemon in no time at all. I like how the Pokemon Center is light up because it's nighttime. Uh, you'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. Okie doke. This is a Pokemon Mart. They sell Pokeballs for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items. Awesome! Pokemon Mart's got a spinning sign. 
Route 30 is up that way. Trainers will be battling their Pokemon there. If you go a little bit further, you'll see Mr. Pokemon's house. Awesome, that's where I need to go. Although I already remember most of this. This is the ocean, right? Let me guess, that's water. <laughs> this is the sea, as you can see. Pokemon, some Pokemon are only found in water. Really? Man, thank you for the for these tips. These hidden tips and tricks. That is useful as a T-Martin video right now. I love it. Here, this is my house. For your effort, keep running. Or keep with me, I'll give you running shoes. They're still warm. You, you did not. Don't worry. These are brand new. Boom, boom. The guide gent. All right. Touch the sprint button to touch touch the sprint button on the screen. It also says holding B down the sprint. Okay, B button is number one for me. So can I do it this way? Woo! Let's go, Cyndaquil. Let's run away. Woo! All right. The Cyndaquil is still pissed off because he got beat earlier. Uh oh, he doesn't look too happy. <gasps> He's still happy! Your Pokemon is, is smelling the scent of the flowers. Ah, oh, Cyndaquil is so cute, I don't want to evolve him. Oh. But we're going to end the episode off here, guys. Uh, basically, get going. We basically just got going in terms of um, basically the series, and we're getting going. Uh, next episode, hopefully, we're going to find a way up to Mr. Pokemon Guy. Uh, maybe raise up Cyndaquil a bit. Maybe get him past level 5. You never know. You never know with this series. So, thank you for playing. Pokemon Sword to full health. Hope to see you again. Alright, where's Cyndaquil? Ah, he pops out of his Pokeball. He's like, ah, screw that. Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Silver playthrough. Or Pokemon Soul Silver playthrough, rather. If you did, remember to rate the video. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.